the distinct honor and esteemed privilege of introducing one of our very own rhythm and blues pioneers from Norfolk, Virginia, Miss Margie Day Walker. Not only is Margie a singer and a role model, but she's a visionary and teacher of young performers of Hampton Roads. Margie grew up listening to gospel, opera, swing, and jazz music. Early on, she knew that she wanted to sing. Her dream came true with persistence and hard work. She changed her name from Margaret Hoffler to her stage name, Margie Day. Margie had recordings for several record labels, and they were very successful. At the end of her singing career, she still had much to offer. In 1983, Margie Day Walker launched a community effort aimed at developing and training children in the areas of the performing and visual arts. Her mission was to help foster their intellectual growth, emotional and moral development, and self-esteem. This brainstorm became the Children's Center State Children's Theater. Margie was extremely interested in getting disadvantaged children from inner city neighborhoods involved because she felt that otherwise some of them would probably not have the opportunity to be exposed to the beauty of the arts. The Center Stage Parent Guild was eventually formed and one of their major events was sponsoring the Father Dorman Grand Celebration Banquet. This event gave little girls ages 5 to 16 the opportunity to dress up in their prettiest dresses and waltz with their dads for the very first time. This affair so inspired one of the seven-year-olds that she announced that this was the best day of her life. And she never wanted it to end. That evening proved to be a true fairy tale. At that moment, Margie knew that this was not just a center stage event, but one that these little girls would cherish for the rest of their lives. Many of these students reflect back on those Saturday mornings when Margie would come to their neighborhoods and cram her station wagon to its capacity with kids so that she could get them to their dance, drama, and voice classes on time. Some of the parents had no money for classes and no means of transportation to get them there. Class space was so graciously granted to center stage in the Fine Arts Building at Norfolk State, and this was where their dreams began. Several of these students are now emerging artists who have launched professional careers. Margie helped to create their dreams by planting the seed at a very early age. Four of her students, who she continues to follow their progress, are Dion Ridley, who is now a professional dancer. He started with Center Stage at age seven. He has performed on tours with Broadway Cat, Cats, Fame, The Lion King, and he served as lead dancer for entertainer Celine Dion for five consecutive years. Currently, he's performing in Japan. Nita Booth, most of you may know her, Nita wowed audiences at the age of nine when she sang and performed as an ambassador for Center Stage. In 1998, she was crowned the first black Miss Virginia with the Miss America pageant. Anthony Wayne Green is now a professional dancer. He began classes at Center Stage at five years old. You may have seen him on TV recently. He performed with the Tony Award-winning Broadway show, Anything Goes. To his credit, he has performed with the national tour for The Color Purple, for Fame, and Will Rogers Follies. Now, Andy Marie Moore is very dear to my heart. 
She's my daughter. And she was enrolled with Center Stage at the age of eight. I remember clearly Margie telling me that Andy had a different type of voice and that it was very special. Margie's trained ears heard something I couldn't hear. Today, Andy is an emerging professional opera singer. She has trained with renowned tenor Placido Domingo with his Young Artist Program, and she also performed for Leontine Price. She's won several first place classical vocal awards, and she's received rave reviews from opera houses both in the United States and internationally. Margie, we salute you for being a music pioneer and an inspiration to our children. Thank you for continuing the legacy. Uh, 
uh, number to bring a, a little uh, diversion in, into my repertoire. So um, we add on and we grow and we mature and we listen to others and, and then how we end. This production has been brought to you by Image Entertainment in partnership with New Journal and Guide. Subscribe today.